Yahar says the country needs to look within its borders to support children and break their vulnerability to become self-reliant adults. It takes a village to raise a child. And your presence here today puts these words into perspective because it is all of us that constitutes that village. The main aim of SOS Namibia is to build families for children in need by helping shape their future and take part in the development of their communities. The SOS has 33 houses in Namibia and children of different ages and backgrounds live together in one house with a full-time parent, usually a woman, who serves as their parent. Leilis Kikeba, raised in the SOS Children's Village home, described living at the SOS as one of the most caring homes she has ever been in. I speak on behalf of all the SOS children when I speak. Our mothers, they put up with so much, not just from us, but just from the outside world as well, because their own kids don't get the loving that we get. They love us with no prejudice. They love us with no bias. They just give us everything. So I, if, if, if I was to say there was one key component in the SOS organization that made it what it is, I think it's the mothers. The SOS Children's Village Namibia believes that these children can develop their full potential only if they have a supportive and protective family environment. So far, the SOS Children's Village Namibia operates in three different towns in the country, namely Ondangwa with 429 children, Fintuk with 798 and Tsumeb with 539 beneficiaries. Among others, the SOS provides counseling, skill development, and education for children. The event was set to raise funds to make a difference in the lives of children. The SOS Children's Home celebrated the SOS Day on the 23rd of this month. Ndapewa Ambambi, NBC News, Fentuk.